Hey guys, welcome back to the show. We're back with an opinion video, this time about Orwo and their color film. If you've never watched this series, this series is basically me say, giving my opinion about film photography topics and it's supported by Patreons or PayPal donations where I'll leave the link below. So Orwo, uh, I mentioned this uh, forever ago in the news. I made a video in November 2020 demonstrating the facts of what I had that Orwo was getting uh, ready to produce a new color film. And a lot of people thought it was, you know, rumors and they were rumors at the time, but I had enough beliefs to uh, think that this was happening. Well, it's 2022, May 2022, and Orwell has just announced their Wolfen 500 NC or NC Wolfen 500 uh, color film. They have been giving basically uh, things on social media about the fact that the film would be for a cinematography film, it would be ECN2, which is a different process than normal color film for still photography, which is C41, which would mean that there would be remjet and that we would have to remove it and do things like that to shoot it on our normal still cameras like this one. Uh, but they have out of the blue announced this film, which seems to be a reformulation of an old stock from ACFA that was used for cinematography and we'll be giving a 500 ISO color film uh, for C41 developing in 35 millimeter film canisters. So the usual 35 mil that we load into our normal 35 millimeter cameras, no cinematography right now in the words. And I wanted to talk a little bit about what I think about this announcement. First of all, it's very confusing that they've been saying it would be ECN2 forever and they suddenly out of the blue launch this color film as C41. That I don't like as a consumer and as a part of the community. I think that's discouraging and confusing and strange. Uh, second of all, they've come up with a 500 ISO speed, which is random. Uh, 500 uh, speed is usually cinematography. Uh, Vision 3 has 500T, which if you remove the range is 800T, which is Cinestill and other people making similar stuff. So that's confusing too. They don't come out with how many they're going to be making. They did the Wolfen 100 in black and white as a new announcement of their 35 millimeter, uh, you know, uh, converting line and new factory for canisters and so on, which again, uh, confusing too. Uh, but they haven't made a limited run of this. They say it's limited, but they don't say how many. Then we get into um, the general like proof and images and display of the results they've given us. First of all, they say they're not going for the traditional color palette. They're not trying to copy anybody. Obviously, if you're trying to copy anybody, you have Fuji or Kodak. That's about all you could copy nowadays. And Fuji is pretty much out of the game. So they're not trying to copy Kodak, but Kodak kind of has a very muted palette so you can actually saturate it and color grade it in post, be it cinematography, be it still photography. Uh, so this starts with a weird color cast, not the best results. There's a ton of grain for 500 uh, ISO speed. To me, if I got to be honest, this looks like an expired film that they found somewhere. They say it's brand new, so I'll take their word for that. But that's what it looks like. Then um, the images, the results they share in social media, the ones they're giving us to basically, you know, buy and pre-order their products are being upfront pretty bad. I mean, I'm not the one to judge people's work, but this is an announcement, a huge announcement from Orwell. Hey, we're making color again. We're a new player in the color uh, photography, uh, film photography, which is huge. And I mean, huge, like the biggest announcement in maybe the last 10 years in uh, film photography is a new color film from a brand that is sort of, let's say it's not new, but it's re, reborn with a restructure and bankruptcy. Um, so Orwell makes this new color film and the results they put look like they gave it to someone that went out with a Diana or, you know, Lomography camera, took some expired film and developed an expired chemistry. Looks strange, honestly. Um, I'm very excited, don't get me wrong. Super excited to see Orwell jump into the game. I think there needs to be more people in the color industry there needs to be more people in the photography industry and every player is welcome i just don't understand the marketing of strategy of not saying it's ecn2 first and then making c41 the fact that they make a film and the results even if the color is different palette is not great like lomography does this with metropolis with lomo purple 
and the images they display are, you know, not that bad. And it's Lomography who has literally like mandates on how you should shoot and not think. But Orwell is not Lomography. They're uh, into the cinematography uh, world for many, many years with black and white film. They have the Orwell N54 and N74, which are great films. Uh, now Wolfen 100, which is one of them uh, spooled into 35 millimeter canisters. Why are the results not that great? But then one thing that I really like that they're doing is they're doing this direct to consumer. They are going to be selling from their Shopify, which is Shopify store on orwo.shop, if I'm not wrong. And you will be able to buy this starting June 1st, which is in two days. Today's May 2030th, I think. Uh, so basically the day after tomorrow is going to be available. This is very exciting. Don't get me wrong. I'm very happy to see Orbo jump in. I just think some things could have been done differently. And I still want to see, they say it's made in Germany in their factory in I don't know what city. I try to check Google Maps to see if I could find a factory with, you know, size enough to make film. I only found Orwo.net, uh, which makes like uh, prints like for your traditional grandma prints and like uh, canvases and stuff like that. It looks more like a photo finishing store than an actual film factory. But maybe I'm mistaken and they do film there. Uh, but yeah, uh, it's an interesting announcement. I would love to hear what you guys think about this announcement. It is huge news. New film player in the color space. Uh, or new color player in the film space. And uh, yeah, basically that. And I can't wait. One thing that I'm also, like I said, step skeptical about is the 35 millimeter conversion. If you don't know about what 35 millimeter conversion, it means when they make the huge pancakes and they uh, cut them into, uh, well, master rolls, they cut them into what they call pancakes. And just imagine like a pancake. This is 35 millimeter film. They're perforated and then they spool it into your normal cassettes. This is done uh, in basically two locations that I know in the world. Right now, uh, Ilford has their own cassette factory. This happened because their supplier basically stopped and I think they built it or they already had it, something like that, but they have one and they make canisters for 35 mil nonstop. And then they have the Kodak line, which is in Rochester. As far as I know, maybe Fuji had one in Japan back in the day. I don't know if Fuji's still doing anything in Japan anymore, but um, I don't know of any other converting lines. I don't know if Adox has one. I don't know if uh, Ferrania has one. I don't know if Foma has one, but supposedly uh, Orwell has made their own finishing line, new line, they said in the announcement for the Wolf in 100, the black and white film, and this is going to be a thing. That is huge news if, if it's true, because like I said, it's one of the bottlenecks with, for example, color film, uh, with some manufacturers that are smaller that don't have the facilities to do this, they have to maybe buy them from whoever sells them in the market. And yeah, I'm just curious. But yeah, I would love to hear your opinion on this and what you think about the Orwell Color. Will you be buying some? Will you be not? I will buy some to support them because I'm a big fan of supporting new ventures. And this is a huge new venture. I bought Impossible Film, the first batch, and it was terrible. So this Orwell Film looks like the best thing you could find compared to the Impossible first batch. But hopefully they'll improve it. Hopefully. I don't mind the different color palette. I just want the results to be better in general with the film. And it's not so the color, just the grain and the look overall. The film looks sort of like experimental more than, uh, you know, a product that's out there ready to be bought by people. Uh, but like I said in many videos, it won't be Portra. It's going to be hard to make. Color film is extremely complicated to do. And if this is what we get, it's better than nothing. So, yeah. That's my opinion video for today. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Bye. This Bronica makes the nicest sound. Nothing works in this Bronica except for the shutter.